The raid on Labastiel ended with nothing but more deception and emotional holes. Sure, Madame's rule has come to an end. But my past still eludes me. Without my memories, I have no choice but to follow Edge's instructions with hollow conviction. And despite the atrocities I witnessed in that prison winning me over to the errorist cause, the recovered memory of my crime is gnawing away at my soul. I pushed a man to suicide. What else have I done? Worse? Edge only sees cause for celebration. Our liberated comrades have remembered their credo and taken up the fight against sense and technology once more. And now he wants to strike at the heart of the reconversion project and smash Memorize forever. His plan, go for the Queen Bee. Scylla Cartier-Wells, president of Memorize. I must remix her worldview, skew her past and soften her heart. And so I asked myself, is winning this struggle worth losing my soul? Can one crime justify the reversal of another? The old Nilin seem to have the answer. As for this Nilin, she doesn't have a clue. You're going to infiltrate the Memorize head office. Find that bitch Scylla and put an end to her reconversion project. Crush her errant beliefs. We must stop her from building an army of leapers. Hi guys, this is Dormouse03, and this is Remember Me on Memory Hunter Difficulty, and this is episode 5. So we're starting off here in the flooded sections of the more uh, affluent district here. You have to lift that out of the water so that you don't get electrocuted going across. And so this is sort of interesting how things are kind of falling apart in this dis district now that uh, you know, you flooded the slums, you have leapers and stuff kind of overrunning this area now, and all sorts of things kicking off. So right here you have a big guy and a bunch of these other little guys, so I like to come into this store to sort of get some distance on the big guy. Just trying to keep him in your sights is <laughs> tricky sometimes because just the layout of the area is kind of not the, the best on earth right here. But you have to make do. I think there are like four or so of the little guys and definitely using your spammer at certain points as well, when you can, is a good idea. So once you have the little guys cleared up, the big guy is toast. And we're free to keep moving here. So I'm telling you, I love, I love, love, love the visuals of this game. The visuals and the music Hurry. This is our great. last chance to shoot Memorize. Right in the brainstem. Another errand. I'm not some obedient valet, Edge. And I'm not your conscience, Nilan. You're as free as any other human. And so there you got to uh, see a little bit of discord between Nilan and Edge. She's starting to feel like maybe he's not as not who he says he is or not quite as trustworthy as she once thought because she's starting to have this moral dilemma of, you know, she remembered what she did and 
isn't really feeling right about that, you know, having a guy commit suicide. And, you know, you never really do find out what purpose that served. The reconversion project by Memorize. I know this place. It's been trashed. The heiress are causing chaos throughout the city. Use the diversion. Get up to Scylla's office. And so she's starting to, you know, kind of have second thoughts about this, this thing that, that she's doing, but she probably feels like, you know, what else can I do but move forward, you know, having, still having these holes in her memory and not knowing, you know, why she was doing what she was doing before. Tell me, Edge. How did you recruit me to the Errorist cause? Tommy claims that you just showed up in his bar one day. A lost soul. Adrift in a sea of regret. He says that he knew immediately that you were going to be one of us. But who can trust his memory these days? You know, sometimes I think you're a better poet than a freedom fighter. Perhaps in another world I am. The reconversion project by Memorize. Humane responses to barbaric perils. Yeah, and so you see that she's, you know, starting to question Lord, her past and Come on, Nellin. You can make it. And you know why she was doing things and But I can I can understand the drive to, you know, just keep moving forward because what else do you have? Right? <laughs> then the sort of mission in front of you and to kind of trust that you knew what you were doing before, right? When you had access to all of your memories. In theory. In any case, getting around those little drones, just not the too bad. The down. Just using the walls and the, you know, rooms and things to keep them from seeing you and insta-killing you, because that's particularly irritating. Edge. All this flood damage. They've lost everything. Help! We did this. The world is drowning, sis. You're the only one that can throw us a lifeline. You're talking in riddles, Edge. You are my scalpel, Millen. A weapon against a planet full of tumors. A scalpel. Interesting metaphor. <laughs> so usually I cut out my deaths, but I just, I couldn't resist. That was just so priceless. <laughs> Platforming failure. It can be a little finicky. Definitely, uh, definitely not the greatest and most well-realized platforming there ever was. And hey look, there's Panda Jax again. I just, I really like how they use the, uh, environment and stuff to foreshadow characters and things that might be important. Like you heard Scylla, who is the person that we are going to see right now, talking about the reconversion project and kind of we don't know exactly what that is or what that means, but we're gonna find out. Uh, so <laughs> this is another great spot to not fall off. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> to get some of those Lord of the Ring knockoffs. Ring outs. <laughs> not listening. Go away. We have some more lovely graffiti on the walls. Some talented people doing this uh, street artwork. And so this section coming up right here is one of the trickier sections in the game. So <laughs> you have 
some of these invisible guys to start off with. And you have the, the floodlight is on for a little while. So what I'm trying to do right here is keep my health up because this fight can get really hairy really quickly. So I'm hitting them a lot with my health things while I'm building up my uh, espressin points. And I'm trying to put hits on, you know, all three of these guys. Because I want, you know, once I start killing them, I want them all to <laughs> get taken out pretty quickly. I don't know why I'm doing my cooldown. Sometimes I get my combos messed up or confused. Here they're starting to die, and all the while keeping my health up. Because once you kill those three guys, you're gonna have another phase to this fight that is extremely irritating. So the light on that sign goes out, and then you have some more invisible dudes, and you're also going to have a big guy. And the big guy, plus the invisible guys, are all just incredibly irritating. So I'm going to use Sits and Dose and Sits and Fury to try to take out as many of these guys as possible. As quickly as possible. Because uh, those invisible guys hitting you while the big guy is around, I just, I cannot express to you <laughs> How, how irritating this fight can be. Um, so I'm just trying to move back and forth across the arena here. You'll notice that the light goes on and off. I don't have any control over that. Uh, it just it flickers and does that on its own. So there's nothing that there's no button or anything that you have to push to get the light to turn back on. It will just do it automatically. But you'll see I'm using my spammer kind of a lot because I'm trying to keep my distance. And uh, I did a really good job there at the beginning of getting rid of those invisible guys. <laughs> because, you know, if you don't get rid of them there at the beginning and you have them to deal with and the, you know, regular dudes on the walls and this big guy to try to dodge, it just becomes a cluster of bad things that you don't want to deal with, so. Just, um, you know, using the tools that you have available to you, you're much more upgraded at this point, you have more espressins to use, and damage to deal out, uh, and you have your spammer, and your junk bolt, and all that good stuff that you can use to take care of some of these enemies. And I just like to make sure that uh, <laughs> that I dodge out of the way of him when he's doing his little charge thing before I start to hit him sometimes. <laughs> and apparently he didn't need too many more hits, so... In any case, that can be a tricky little fight. The district is infested. It was inevitable, but fortunate. They're drawing all the attention while you sneak in to memorize HQ. All right. And so Memorize is the company that created the Sensen technology. So we have drones that we don't want to mess with. And I think what we want is for him to move over there to the right. Yeah. And then you can head on through the door. 
and we're about to be introduced to another kind of enemy. So the elite enforcers. So these guys who are who have the little like shiny holography looking armor on. Uh, that look kind of like the Remembrane enemies from when we were fighting my dad. Uh, they deal damage to you when you hit them. So the way that you want to take them out is to just c continuously hit them with your uh, healing combos. And that will keep your health up while you're dealing damage to them that also deals damage to you. some more drones to be careful of. So these guys, um, you want to get trapped in these little doorways here, so the first one here, <laughs> you want to leave him alone for a moment, get out of dodge. lock him in and then when the other drone goes in there you can just run past or you can you know lock be safe and lock him in the uh, room as well edge i'm right in front of the memorized hq the lower floors are flooded how do i get in there mastermind have i ever failed to deliver there's vip access on the roof of the building i've got everything covered If you had everything, everything covered, covered huh? how come I got thrown in jail for murder? <laughs> Good point. Nice uh, Eiffel Tower in the background there. So this is an interesting chapter for the story. We're going to find out some some really interesting things about this company Memorize and the head of it, Scylla Cartier-Wells, but not before several dozen more fights. <laughs> Your way ain't gonna work. You got a plan B? I'm inside their comms. Building's locked down. You need to track down a Captain Trace and steal his access codes. Careful, sis. He's eccentric and very dangerous. <sighs> okay. We need to move. Where can I find him? Give me a second to do an AUG lock on his position. Right. So just running, running, running from this uh, guy shooting bullets at you. Ah, shit. <laughs> Hello, little rat. <laughs> and sorry for the the cut there. You'll notice that the music <laughs> sort of stopped and started abruptly there. That was because I died on this part. Somehow I didn't make a jump somewhere. Like I said, the platforming on this can be... ...pretty... ...precise. <laughs> uh, as far as where you have to... ...jump and stuff. Sometimes. She's on her way to Grandma's house. A basket full of goodies. 
some little red riding hood now. Oh, he's waiting. This guy is stupid. <laughs> Uh, and he had to say woodies so that it it rhymed with goodies. Such an idiot. Anyway, uh, so this part can be annoying and not just because he's an idiot and says annoying things. Um, just because, you know, those bullets can, can kill you pretty much instantly if you get hit by any of them. So it's just a run, run, run as fast as you can. And then this is one of the more irritating sections oh coming up right here. What small blunt teeth you have. So follow the path that I'm going to take here. You go up the middle, you go over to the right twice, and then back to the middle. But that has to be very, very quick. Like, you have to have that pattern pretty much down, or... Seriously. And get lucky. <laughs> or you won't make those jumps across that... Um... Little thing that's collapsing as he shoots. So. Now we're inside, and we're away from the stupid guy with the airship. And we just have a couple of dudes we can beat. <laughs> because you want to beat on somebody after you get done with that section, I guess. That was their thinking. So here comes Loser again. Uh, and you have to move really quickly along this path here. So it might take a couple of tries. I, I don't find this part to be as irritating as the one that just happened. But, uh... It, you definitely do still have to move here, and um, you can really easily get caught by his uh, gunfire. I really like the sort of moving in and out of these buildings and on the rooftops and stuff. It, it feels like, you know, you're using the city to your advantage, and why isn't he just shooting you here? This is what... Things... Things that don't make sense. <laughs> right? It's like, we're gonna put these dudes in here and they're gonna kill you, but I'm gonna sit outside and give you some nice lighting for pretty effects, but I'm not gonna shoot my guns at you anymore. Very strange. But I mean, thank God. Like, can you imagine trying to kill these dudes while he's shooting at you periodically? That would be irritating. I do love those combos! And this is one of the guys that you have to... that hurts when you hit him, so... Now he's gonna start shooting again. He's like, well, they didn't do the job, so I'm gonna have to start shooting again. I guess he wasn't shooting because he didn't want to hit his own guys. That makes sense. If, if it was me, I wouldn't be shooting because I wouldn't want to hit my own guys. But he seems like he might not care about his own guys all that much. Because he's not a nice person. <laughs> but, uh... I, that just occurred to me that that was probably the reason why he wasn't shooting at you until they got taken out. Also, the nice, um, contextual thing Stop of smashing the guy's head against freak. the wall. If he catches you off guard, <laughs> it was yeah, cool. okay, enough of the running commentary. Thank you. Steal the code from this bird brain and get to Silicarte Wells. Okay, I've got an idea. Stay frosty, sis. This guy's serious. I have an idea too. Edge, stop telling me to do things and acting like I'm not doing them quickly enough for you. Okay? Thanks. So you have to stay out of the guy's uh, light here. He's sort of hunting around for you. And so you do a, a tiny bit of sneaky sneaky. 
and then you're going to hit that turbine to kind of distract him, grab his attention, so that you can move along behind him. And then you're going to have a fun little moment of taking him down. Red Riding Hood's got a basket full of kick-ass! Curse you, Hunter! What did you steal from me? Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part of episode 5.